You can take any everything away from me that I have. And I'm still going to come back crawling out of that hole. Like, I she going to give you life. Lakewood means rewind, a gunshot means forward. You requested it, so we rewind. What's up, y'all? It's 12.30 midnight, and I don't know what to do right now, but my makeup is done, and I just was like, I've been on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything, and I just have not... I just have not showed my YouTube family any love. And I was just like, let me talk to my people real quick. And I just wanted to talk to y'all. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but just had it in my heart to pull, up, pull out this camera. And let's talk about something. Oh, I don't know. But this is my new crib. I keep, like, these are, like, every time we all get on... What is going on? I mean, that's not a bad light, though. It's not that bad. But, yeah, no. It's a new crib. Every time I get on here, the past, I think my other video is a different view. But, yeah, new crib. I really, like, it's been, I don't know, life's been good. Life's been life and gum. Yeah. Got a new crib. Been hustling my ass off for real. That shit is not on you. It's in you. Like, you cannot, being a hustler, like, it's not just, like, hustling, finesse, and finagling. It's really, like, knowing that if you go to the lowest of your lows, you're going to always be able to get back up. Because it's always up from wherever you go down, you know? And I just think that's, like, a hustler mentality that they have. Like, I'm definitely, like, I've always been, like, someone to be about my, like, since a young girl, I was always like trying to make a bang for a book. <laughs> like I used to, I remember I used to go to um, oh my mind takes me. I love her. Um, I used to literally like go to my neighbors, ask them. Like I used to go to one of my neighbors, ask them like can I babysit or whatever for someone? Then I would ask another neighbor, like, can I water the grass after I get back home from daycare? Like, this is me in, like, probably, like, the fifth, fourth grade, y'all. Like, I was not playing. I was not playing. I used to do lemonade stands, and I used to be serious. Like, my cousin, like, you cannot be late to lemonade stand. Like, get it together. Then, oh my gosh, don't get me started with Girl Scout. The Girl Scout money wasn't even going to meet us. So that really, they was like hustling me. Because they had a good, I was, man, I was probably their best Girl Scout employee. I was, man, serious. You want these camera delights? Oh, fine. But yeah, nah, I've been a hustler since the jet. Been a hustler. Even in school, like high school, let's first off start elementary, middle school. I was the one starting off people's strings, you know, those strings. Some people don't know how to start them off, but I was the one starting them off. I used to make like all types of them things. Like I can do like one with like seven, eight different strings on one thing, like, and I could sell them. Like I used to be able to do the snake skin, the cobra. I was with the shits for real. And then what else did I used to do? What else did I used to sell and stuff? In high school, I used to sell these things called slutty brownies. They was good. Like, I just can't even get into them. They was so good. Like, during passing periods, we going to heaven for them brownies. Like, I used to, man, I've always just been about my bread. Like, always, just always wanted to have my own money in my own pocket. Like, my people, like, I didn't grow up in, like, a a home where things weren't, like, like we weren't like I grew up with a single mother, a grandmother at that, but she always made a way for us. Like she always like there was we never got like the a horrible life because of her. And she's always been like 
she's always just been on it. And I love her for that because she made sure that I was like, you know, always taken care of. But because I would see her like hustling like that, like it was just not, not hustling, but y'all know what I mean. Like she was like, that's a, this is a grandmother raising two kids, like young kids. And she's like older. So like, yeah, no, I keep going. I don't even know where I was about to go with that. Where was I going with that? Ugh. Since I seen that though, like she's always been on her P's and Q's trying to make sure we was good. It just made me want to like have extra money on the side. Just so I didn't have to always ask her for like the extra things that like my friends would get when I was in school. Like certain things I would just try and get it myself. Like cause I don't want to have to just ask her and ask her. Cause I know like it's, it's I don't know like. I was just always such an understanding person as a young, young kid growing up, like thinking like I know how adults are. So like I don't, whole time I don't though. Whole time I don't. Whole time I don't. But I just wanted to make my grandmother's life easy in some type of way and just try and hustle and get the shit on my own and stuff like that. But regardless, yeah. Started a boutique. I, I, most modeling jobs that I get, like I get that for myself. I go and hustle and I go and search and I go and speak to people. I put myself in positions to where I have to put myself on the front line. Like I, I'm my own manager, marketing agent, advisor, assistant. Like I do everything on my own and by myself. And I think that's why it makes my head so hard when it comes to certain situations and positions because you cannot try and put me in a place that I have came out of, you know? You can't try, you know, I don't know. But yeah, the hustling is not on you, it's in you. Like, you can you can take any everything away from me that I have and I'm still gonna come like crawling out of that hole like I just wouldn't like I'm I'm a survivor I'm not gonna give up I'm not gonna but you know for um and it's kind of crazy though because yeah I also think working in like, cause I used to work in nightlife and like at a bar and stuff like that. Like being in those type of like, in those worlds and atmosphere, like it really te like taught me how to like talk to people. Like I just know how to always get what I want. And that's not a bad thing. Like that's really not at all. It's just that you just know how to talk to people. Like I'm very persuasive. I'm very like, I have an open spirit. Like when you talk to me, you gonna wanna pour out your heart. You gonna be like, why am I telling this girl all of this about my life and I don't even know her? But that's just because, I'm not finessing you or nothing like that, but that's just because I make people feel open enough to talk to me, which you can because I'm a, like, I'm, I've been through a lot. Like I, I am a, a, you know, I'm always gonna be here for somebody that's going through something cause I just know how that shit feels. and. I've always been the type of, like, I'll be going through shit and don't want to tell nobody or just keep it to myself because I'm just like, what is anybody like me telling you this problem? What are you going to do that can help my situation? But honestly, it don't even be the part of helping someone's situation. It's really just like a hug or like just a lending ear. Like, I just want to get this off my chest. Like, can you listen to me? Like, and I know how that feels. So that's just why it's so easy for me to... Um, be that opening ear for other people and they feel so comfortable when they talk to me. I don't Like when people talk to me, I feel like we've been in the black. Like, we've known each other for years like years. I'm not playing It's weird And I think I just have like a old soul because you know, I've grown up with my granny and shit, but I love it though. Honestly, I couldn't I always think about how my life would be if I was like wasn't raised with my grandmother, but honestly 
I'm grandma baby. I always stay with my grandma, like my grandma took care of me. My grandma gave me anything I want. <laughs> so you was kind of spoiled by your grandma, you would say. Yeah, my grandma made me feel love. Mm -hmm. And when she died, I ain't never felt that feeling again. Mm. That was good though. But yeah, that was all. I really don't know what else to say. I just got on here just to talk to y'all about that hustler mentality. I really don't know what else to say. You think I'm like on something right now and I'm sober as hell. Just want to take this makeup off and lay down. Which is what I'm about to do. I love y'all though. I hope this, I don't know. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I was just ranting and rumbling and talking about God knows what, whatever came to my mind at the time. But yeah, it's not on you, it's in you. Don't give your life.